Good morning and grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord, Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading I'm sharing this morning is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 10 through 14. It's from the King James Version. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk about you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now then that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And if any man obey not our words by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him. Here ends the reading. Busybodies, slanderers, unjust destroyers of other reputations, most of those descriptions could fall under the recent term, cancel culture. That is, if someone disagrees with you, or maybe you just don't like them for whatever reason, maybe you don't even know them. There are quite a few out there who think it is acceptable to spend their day on social media gossiping about others and by name at that. As I was reading a particular post last night, I wondered if the person actually worked or if she was making these accusations while she was supposed to be working for the wage she agreed to when she was hired. St. Paul wrote to the Thessalonians that those who do not work should not eat. If a person will not work to provide for themselves and instead spend their days trying to pull others down in order to make themselves look good, we are to keep no company with them. Stay away from them. Please note I am not including, nor did St. Paul include, those who cannot work for legitimate reasons or for family and friends just out of hospitality. Social media can have a good purpose. For instance, I live far away from friends and family. I grew up with many, and there are many that I've known over the years. Social media helps me to know when they are rejoicing, when they are suffering, if they're in the hospital, and sometimes even when they have died. That's how far away we have moved from one another. But social media has its disadvantages as when someone starts posting garbage out of context, when they slander someone, especially, I say again, by name, just because they consider themselves some kind of social justice warrior without ever even having done any research to know if it is actually the truth. According to our small catechism, the commandment, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, means, as explained by Martin Luther, we should fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbor, betray him, slander him, or hurt his reputation, but defend him and speak well of him and explain everything in the kindest way. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, protect all who are unjustly slandered by those who prefer to spend their time attacking others to make themselves look good rather than working toward establishing in themselves a good name. We ask that you fill each of us with the Holy Spirit, that we might act in the kindest of ways. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.